and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a Detroit demo review. Now I got to play this yesterday, I think I had about three playthroughs in the end and each one was different from the last. Now this is a fantastic sort of story based game where you control the options, you control the story and obviously if your character gets killed off then that's it for the rest of the story. The story continues but your character does not. So that is quite interesting that you know a lot of your choices do have pretty severe consequences and you know the story continues whether your character dies or not. So I don't know how it would work if all three of your characters died. How would this story continue from there? Maybe it's worth like trying to find out once the whole game comes out. Now obviously this game comes out on the 25th of May so I have yet to pre-order this but I will be pre-ordering this as soon as I get paid next week so I'll probably get the digital download as well so I can as soon as it hits midnight I'll be straight on that now as you already know I've played a lot of games like this similar to this anyway the Telltale series I've played quite a lot of those sort of games and I've also played Heavy Rain and I started Beyond Two Souls but I've not got around to finishing that yet either. Now this is a sort similar sort of premise to that where you you know you make the choices basically and I love games like that where you have to think on your feet you have to react in a sort of like quick sensation like you, you can't really stop and think about your answer you, you gotta like instantly like click with that answer and then you gotta live with the choices afterwards because sometimes in life that's what happens you know you have to make a quick decision and sometimes it's not always the right one it's it, it can be ineffective and it will bounce back to bite you in the ass at one point so and Detroit really does that I mean the acting in it is is really good like because oh, obviously it's all mocap so everyone in the game is actually a real person. So any action, reaction and stuff like that is all human. Now being a demo, it was probably about, I'd, I'd probably give it about 10 minutes long, which is, you know, pretty standard for a demo. And obviously we've seen a lot of this hostage scene quite a lot over the, the years where we've had it from like E3 and stuff like that. But the last one was more in detail, whereas the first one was quite short and brief, just gave you a, a short description of what the game was all about and obviously the last one they did was a bit more in depth a bit more what I'm doing in the background now was it was a bit more in detail and stuff like that so obviously there are clues throughout the entire place that obviously up your chances of success now obviously the higher your chances of success the more likely you are to rescue the hostage and detain the deviant so the deviant is a android that's gone sort of like rogue and become a bit more in touch with his feelings and more self-aware stuff like that so you know this is obviously a problem that we, we could have if we ever had like real androids and stuff like that that they become self-aware stuff like this now your job as connor in the background here to determine why the deviant has defective and he's gone off his obviously his um, non-hurt humans kind of rule so he needs to get to the bottom of this and try and save the hostage because obviously that was what he was designed to be for your your idea is to get to the bottom of it to find out what is the cause and if you can figure out what actually went down before you go and talk to the deviants obviously we all knew that anyway from all the gameplays well, I just wanted to reiterate what was actually going on here. Now there are several different locations around this hotel room alone that will require you to investigate. Like if you look here, there's got like bullet holes and it, it tells you what the damage was as well, as well, like with the bullet and stuff like that. So it's actually pretty neat that it's gone into some sort of detail as to what actually killed them. And it, you know, th these are things that probably would kill a normal person in real life as well. Now if you look here, we've just gone into reconstruct mode. Now you'll notice there's a yellow bit right at the end. Now what this is, it, it brings up like clues, like here we have the triangle. So you just hold that down and it brings up a clue, like he was holding, the father was holding something. Now it's just opened up again on the bottom there, Look if you look on the uh, yellow bar there. And now we're going to see the other clue in the far right corner there. So there are things like this that allow you to bump up your probability of success because obviously you need to save that hostage so you need to make sure that you've you're, you're out there looking for every 
single piece of evidence that you could find to help your cause. Now interestingly, I actually had Brian Duchart in the Twitch chat with me talking about the game and, and stuff like that. And obviously he, he mentioned that this, this officer on the floor here has a similar last name and it was sort of like a, a fun easter egg for, for Brian as well. Because obviously uh, Brian's last name is Duchart and obviously this is Descart. Now this is also a connection to the police officer in Blade Runner as well which is a similar sort of premise with it being like with androids and stuff like that. So it's all kind of like a, a fun easter egg for the game and honestly I had a lot of fun playing it. Obviously I, I, we only had about like I said about 10 minutes worth of gameplay and then I obviously had like three different outcomes for the story so you know there, there's never you, you don't have to play this, the game the same way all the way through there's always different ways of going about it and different options you can pick like here you'll see the gun on the floor you can either you can either pick that up or leave it where it is either way it it will affect how you handle yourself outside when you're talking to the deviant now this is obviously just a demo it's available now on the ps4 so if you haven't played it yet but you are interested in going out and playing this game i do highly recommend that you download the demo even if you are not 100 percent sure on whether or not you want to buy the game i highly recommend you at least try the demo honestly i don't think you'll regret it. it it's a fantastic game the visuals are good the way they've gone into every single detail is fantastic and it just feels so real and obviously you're, you're trying to get the best probability to have a great outcome as you can so having to find that sort of important clue that will actually help with the best outcome that you can have it, you know and and you're on a time limit as well like on this one especially um I, there is actually a thing at the end i'll show you um that wears like a percentage of like the world percentage similar to what you have in like the telltale games like and any decision you make throughout the the chapter is then recorded on a log at the end and it obviously shows what other people have chosen throughout the world in playing this sort of scenario and there's an option that says like wasting time so obviously you've got to try not to waste too much time and get this done because obviously you know the longer you take trying to get these clues the the more the deviant will get restless and you'll just end up going outside anyway because you haven't collected enough so it was a fantastic little demo uh, I would highly recommend it. I would probably give this a 9 out of 10 if I'm honest. Obviously I'll do a full review once I've played the game but for now this is what I've experienced and I absolutely loved it. So let me know what you thought. If you have played the demo as well it would be great to hear from you. Let me know what the highlight of the demo was for you and what you're most looking forward to with the full game releasing next month. The game definitely feels a lot like Heavy Rain with its decision making, its button movement and stuff like that and the general gameplay of it. Because it is made from the same company of Quantic Dream, you can expect a, a really surprising twist at the end because that's what we got from uh, Heavy Rain. If you've not played it then I feel sorry for you but you need to go and get Heavy Rain because it's an absolutely fantastic gem of a game. If you're not sure what to expect from this, that would probably be the best game to go by. Also I just want to add that if you do want to get Heavy Rain but don't have the funds for it and because you're saving to get this then the digital copy actually does have Heavy Rain available with the purchase of this game. So it is worth doing it that way if you haven't played it yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the video as it is. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So please have a great day, take care of yourself and others, and bye bye for now. <laughs>